In this video, I'll show you how to build a Stack AI workflow from scratch. We'll build this financial analyst agent to perform 10K, 10Q research in minutes instead of days. This app will allow a user to upload a 10Q file and the agent will generate an automatic research assessment. You'll learn how to build an advanced workflow using the Workflow Builder, how to set up custom LLM instructions, how to configure a user interface, and how to publish your workflow. Let's dive right in. To get started, click Create on the Workflow Builder. Here you can find all of the different templates which you can go and review at your own time. For this video, we're gonna start with a new project. Click Use Template, and this takes us to the Workflow Builder. To review, we have our Workflow Canvas, our left-hand panel, input, output nodes, large language models, apps, knowledge bases, and more, as well as our UI through the export tab, analytics, and our chat manager. We wanna start from scratch, so I'm gonna delete these nodes so that we can start from a blank slate. The first thing we want to do is add a file input node. We want our user to be able to upload a 10Q file that will get parsed and analyzed by the large language model. I'll go ahead and upload the Salesforce 10Q file so my workflow will have access to the file. Once you've uploaded your file to the file input node, you can set up different chunking strategies, which basically just allow you to tweak how the AI system breaks up the document, which you really only need to come back to if you're having trouble. You can also enable advanced data extraction and text and images if you need it to be able to handle things like more complex images and charts. Let's just call this our report and add a little comment on top. And let's format this using Markdown to be a little nicer to look at. Now I have my file uploaded and this will be our 10K, 10Q document. But the next thing we want to do is pass this to a large language model, which we can find on the left-hand panel here. Clicking on LLMs, we can find all of the different providers of large language models. I'm going to use Google for this one. I can scroll through and see different characteristics of each model, but, and I'll choose this one because their Gemini 2.0 flash model is well-suited for production applications like this. Now we want to pass the data from our file input to our large language model. When we do this, the large language model will get the parsed structured data from our file input and apply some instructions to that file. Since this is a financial assistant, let's give it some specific instructions for our use case. We'll say, you're an AI assistant that analyzes 10K, 10Q filings. Your job is to read the document and extract information from it. Respond in bullet points, give citations for where in the document you find each source. And now in the prompt section, we need to give a reference from our input file. So I'll type slash, and I see the name of the report file input that I just created. And now this large language model will receive the data from the file that was uploaded by the user. And in order to test this, we need to add an output. So I'll zoom out a bit and find the output section. Here, I'll grab my output and drop it in just to the right of my large language model. Now we can click the run button in the top right or press command enter. And as we do this, we see the progress indicator in the bottom right hand side. As the model is running and after, we can see each of the steps that ran, how long they took, and clicking into each one, we can see the parsed data for that step. On our builder canvas, we can now see the output node is populated with values from the large language model showing that it has parsed the Salesforce file. And it's also given a bunch of references within the file from where it found different details of its answer. That's awesome. So now we've gone from input from a user, a file, to taking some logical action using a large language AI model to outputting that within the workflow builder. Beyond seeing each of the individual steps, you can also add in a separate output node as you need it so that you can debug your app while it's running. Now let's run this again. Now I can zoom in on just this output node and see what structured data Stack AI was able to pull from my document. This is the data that will pass into the large language model. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way for now. Okay, so now that we know that our app is working, let's add some more comments here. Let's just call this our financial analyst, make it yellow. So, so far we've seen this working in the canvas, but let's add a nice little UI so we can start thinking about what it'll be like for the end user to use this app. To do that, we can go to the export tab and here you can choose the UI that you wanna have for your user. We're gonna use form, but you can choose from any number of other options. So let's give our app a name. Let's say upload a financial report and I will analyze it. And now on the left-hand side, we can see we have two sections, inputs and outputs. The first one, the one our report input that we have for uploading a file, the user can click here and upload their file. The output, we can see output one here. And when you click submit, our workflow will run. 
Okay, so let's go back to our workflow now. And for instance, we might want our large language model to respond in a little more simple way or in a little more verbose way to give more context and more information. Or we might want to enable our user to pass in additional instructions. For instance, asking the large language model to look for certain types of information in the report. So let's build this out using a couple new inputs. And let's also add another type of large language model analyst. And this one will have look specifically at management discussion and analysis in the report. So let's start with adding our new inputs and then we'll duplicate that into a second analyst. Analyst. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of our debugging output. And the next thing we want to do is allow our user to give some instructions. So let's just call this user instructions. And we want to also pass these instructions into our financial analyst node. And we also want to tell our system how to respond. So we'll just call this verbosity to say how much information it's going to respond with. And we'll connect this one as well. So now we have our large language model taking our report data, but it's not currently using our user instructions or our verbosity in the prompt. So let's build out this prompt. So now we have sections for our additional instructions, which we've broken out in a little XML type markup. So I will reference my user instructions here. The writing style, I will reference my verbosity input. And for the report, I will go ahead and reference my report. And now we'll tell it to extract and summarize information about these financial statements specific to the income statement. Um, are they making any money, losing money, etc. And one really important thing for an analyst to have is also uh, the ability to reference past data. So what we want to do is give our financial analyst large language model a tool. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a tool and tell it to search a knowledge base. So now our large language model can search a knowledge base. So let's specify which one and I'll add a knowledge base and I'll choose one that I already have set up, which is our previous 10K 10Q documents. This is a Microsoft SharePoint server. So you can also add your own by clicking import from a connection here. So I'll click my previous 10K 10Qs and I'll reference the files I have in that folder. And so now my agent has access to all of these previous 10K 10Q files, as well as the one the user is uploading. Pretty cool. Let's Let's give this a run and we'll just say a uh, simple answer for our writing style and uh, for user instructions, what year is this referencing? Okay, so now that we have our new user inputs and our more advanced prompt, let's jump into our export. So now we're back to our user interface. We can go and see that we have these new input fields, which we can click both of those to enable them set them if they're required. And for verbosity, we might add a simple option, uh, bullet points and uh, deep analysis mode. So when we do that now, we have this verbosity input that shows us multiple different options that can quickly allow the user to establish how much information they want to get back from our analyst. And we can add specific instructions here. Okay, so let's save the interface and go back to our workflow. So now let's add in our second analyst. And to do this, I'm just going to select our current large language model node. I'm going to press Command C and Command V and I get a new one. And here, let's call this one our management analyst and we'll give it a different color. Okay, so for our second analyst, we also want to use the same verbosity input and we'll use the same file input, but we're gonna allow the user to write different instructions. So I'll press Command C, Command V on that to paste it. And we'll just call this user instructions management. And we need to update the reference here. So we'll just reference the user instructions from the management side. And let's just give this much simpler little general instruction prompt and still has access to the same knowledge base. We want a different set of instructions for extracting and summarizing information about management's discussion and analysis. Okay, so now we have our second analyst and now we want to create a separate output. So we'll just call this one the financial output and copy that over and we'll call this one our management output. Going back to our export window, we can see our financial output. Let's enable our second output and enable our second set of instructions, which we will just call this the for management analyst. And we'll call this one user instructions for financial overview. So now our app should be ready to go. So we can save our interface and we can go back and save our overall workflow and publish our app. And now we can go back and view our agent running at this URL. 
Okay, so now we can run our financial analyst. We can select our uploaded file, select so that we just want simple bullet point answers. And for the financial overview, we might want to say focus on the uh, top line metrics. And for the management analysis, look for any uh, dissenting opinions. And let's just click submit and see what we get. So now let's finish by discussing a couple more things. You can customize this app to match whatever branding you'd like by removing the avatar and uploading your own, changing the submit button, adding additional password security or single sign-on protection so that you can really limit who has access to running this app. You can also publish this app on your own local instance of Stack AI running on-premise. So nice, so now our analyst is done in just a minute or two. We've got some great analysis on the financial overview as well as the management output. We can see sources and where they've been referenced throughout all of these files. And you can go in and copy this value or download it as a plain text file, Word file, Excel file, or as a PDF. And all of these are for each of our analysts. So you can go down here and download this one as well for the management output. So now we have this really awesome analyst. You can continue adding additional analysts to it, customizing this, but it should save you a ton of time and give you a really good overview of how to build your own workflow just like this. After your application is up and running, you can also go up to the analytics tab, see the runs, the number of tokens it's used, the users. You can also generate an AI report for this analytics dashboard or download your logs. And you can jump to the manager tab and see all of the most recent runs. Thanks for watching. In the next video, I'll show you how to use the Stack AI Quick Start to quickly build a ChatGPT like assistant in just minutes.